Hello, I'm Helen. I'm the host of the Curious Handmade podcast, which is an audio podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Uh, you can also find it on my blog, which is curioushandmade.com. And uh, yeah, so this today is my first video podcast. I've been thinking about doing this for about maybe about two years, um, maybe a bit less than that, but quite some time. I've been uh, sort of talking and thinking about uh, chatting to you in visual format. So this is the first uh, experiment. I don't really have a plan for going forward. It's uh, try this first time and then see what happens. Uh, it may end up being a regular event. It may be a one-off. Uh, we'll see. So the point of this uh, doing a video podcast, I do love doing the audio. And uh, it does uh, work with my life quite easily because I can do it at night or after the kids have gone to bed. Uh, it doesn't matter about lighting um, so much or being able to put a bit of makeup on and things like that. So uh, I do love my audio and I do love listening to audio podcasts. So that is not going to um, stop. Uh, it's kind of like the backbone of my life, putting that out every Friday. Uh, but I just have been thinking that just sometimes it would be really nice to be able to show you uh, things in person in a visual uh, way rather than trying to describe uh, a color or um, or something that I've been working on or some beautiful yarn so I thought I would yeah do a video to try and uh, show some things in person so the first uh, thing that I'll mention because I'm probably going to take it off in a minute because it's really quite warm today is uh, the Spindrift shawl that I'm wearing. So this is a new design uh, by me <laughs> and it's uh, a small crescent shaped shawl. You can see it's got a little bit of eyelet detail on the edge and a pico bind off which everybody loves. Everybody loves the look of. Um, whether people love doing them or not is another question, but I think they're, well, I'm used to them now, so <laughs> I don't mind doing them. And uh, yeah, just the, a nice uh, frothy little spring shawl. So this is actually a free pattern. It's a gift from me to you and it's available. Uh, you can find it on my um, blog, curioushandmade.com. Or you can also find it on Ravelry under Spindrift Shawl. And so if you sign up for uh, the email workshop that goes with it, uh, you'll get the pattern in the first email uh, in the series. And then after that, there'll be six emails um, with uh, talking about various topics about knitting shawls. And also giving you details about the knit along that uh, goes along with it. Uh, and things like that. So uh, yeah, so if you like the look of it, do pop over to my blog and uh, sign up. There's a, a button on the right hand, right hand side of the blog, <laughs> I had to think about that then, um, where you can find it. So yeah, sign up uh, to that uh, email, put, pop your email in, and then um, you'll get asked to um, verify your email address and then after that uh, the emails will start coming through. Some people have experienced a little bit of a delay in getting the emails so I've been getting some some messages from people saying oh, I haven't got the the emails and then a little while later they come through so um, maybe give it a little bit of time I don't know even up to a couple of hours I think it's taking depending on your email provider um, but if you haven't got them after you know a day or something then do uh, message me and let me know what email you're using and I'll, I'll look into it for you to make sure that um, it's working properly. So that's the Spendrift Shawl. Uh, I'm going to take this off because it is a glorious day here in London. Um, it's really warm so it's too warm to wear. I did have the door closed because uh, because it's a nice day everybody's outside playing loud music and uh, cleaning their patios with you know power hoses and things like that but it seems to be a little bit quiet at the moment so I've 
taken the risk of opening the door so hopefully all you'll hear in the background is birds chirping um but yeah it's just such a nice day today so yeah not really uh not really a knitwear day um and uh it may well be you know all the summer we're going to get so we're everybody's enjoying it <laughs> uh so yeah so um one of the sort of reasons that has prompted me to finally do this is that in the month of April um, and March even, going back a bit further, I attended heaps of events and um, accumulated a few skeins of yarn and uh, a few bags and things like that. So um, I thought I might, my plan is really to do a series on each of the events that I went to and, and share some things from each of those. So today uh, I'm starting with the first one which was back in March which is the Curious Handmade Country House Retreat. <laughs> uh, everybody has trouble with the name including me so yeah the Curious Handmade Country House Retreat which was in March. Uh, about 20 of us uh, went up to Cumbria and stayed in a beautiful house uh, spent a few days together knitting, chatting, uh, going to the pub and just enjoying the uh, the beautiful surroundings. It's just gorgeous up there. It's in the Eden Valley, which is just um, right beside the Lake District. So it's, it's not officially the Lake District, but it's part of Cumbria, which is where the Lake District is. So uh, yeah, it's a bit confusing, but it's, um, yeah, it's just a really, really beautiful part of England. So yeah, so where shall I start? Um, we had a wonderful time. We went, uh, it was kind of during the week that the retreat was held. So we arrived on Monday afternoon, caught the train up from London. Quite a few people were on the train, which was fun. Um, we had some guests who'd uh, come over from the US. And so some of them were in London and uh, we all traveled up together. And uh, yeah, it was just really fun uh, even getting to the event. And uh, yeah, I was given some really lovely gifts from attendees. Um, I'll just quickly show you a few things because um, I just want to share. So uh, Elizabeth Doherty, who is Blue Bee Studio, she's a designer on Ravelry and uh, designs for Quince & Co quite a lot. And uh, she brought me this beautiful yarn. I think it's, I'm not sure if it's local to where she lives or she picked it up from a, a recent festival. Um, there's two skeins, it's called Insouciant Fibres and it's Merino French Angora from Bainbridge Island, Washington. So this is uh, so gorgeous. I'm not really sure what to make with it. I'm thinking about a hat. It's uh, sport weight, 50 grams and 145 yards per skein so that's about 300 yards uh, in total so i'm thinking something stripey might be really nice or maybe even a color block kind of thing and she also gave me this really really cute um needle uh needle measurer what do you call them i don't know needle sizer i don't know and you can see her little logo the, the blue bee at the top. Really cute. Thank you, Elizabeth. It's lovely. Um, and then, yeah, just so some other lovely things uh, from people. Um, my friend Stuart from the US brought a massive box of um, Reese's peanut butter cups because she knows how much I love them. And uh, a month later, there's hardly any left. So I'm going to start my weight loss campaign after they've gone. <laughs> So, so bad. I'm trying to restrict myself to one a day as a little treat in the afternoon. So that was very fun. And uh, this is a little notebook from Julie, who is Suffolk Socks on on the web. Um, Julie came to my Christmas party last year, and then she came to the retreat as well. She has a an online shop specialising in sock yarn and. Um, things to do with knitting socks, like sock blockers and things like that. 
Um, Paula, who's one of the attendees, gave everybody, brought this uh, little, so it's a bit shiny, a little pack package with mini skeins, different mini skeins from her stash, a little progress keeper, this little elephant. It's chocolate. I can't believe that chocolate's still there actually. It won't be there about 10 minutes after I stop recording. And a, and a tea, lovely tea. So I've, ha I've had all this stuff. I've been trying to keep everything together um, to show on the video which is why that's uh, still there. But I think once I've recorded and um, shown you, I'll be drinking the tea and uh, using using a bit more of the yarn. Uh, this is a little package uh, from Tink Hickman, gave me some little moisturizers and some, some more tea. Uh, it's a lovely little care package from her. Um, Deb does a lot of test knitting and sample knitting for me, so that was really lovely. And uh, this is from my friend Stuart. She is uh, has an Etsy shop called Leather Wool Linen. And she makes the most gorgeous bags out of those materials. And uh, this is a little um, needle holder. So she just brought this uh, lovely thing. And uh, it's just beautiful leather and uh, some tweed fabric to put um, needles for some wool needles in for finishing projects. So thank you, Stuart. Um, I have realized that there's a, um, another gift, which was a beautiful pendant from Bowen, a, another attendee that came over from the US and she made these beautiful handmade pendants with embroidery and um, embroidered onto maps of Cumbria. Um, I've got that upstairs. I forgot to bring it down. Um, because I've been wearing it all the time. So thank you for that Bowen. And um, yeah, and I just want to thank some sponsors of the retreat as well. So uh, we had uh, a lovely gift from Pom Pom Magazine, which is one of my favorite knitting magazines uh, based in the UK. And they have just started a new venture called Pom Pom Press, which you might have seen. And so they sent me, um, they've just published uh, Hohi Locatelli and Vera Val Mackey's uh, interpretations collections. And so they had uh, collection, uh, interpretations one and two, and then three recently um, was published uh, in around, just before, um, the retreat. So they sent all three as a um, as a door prize for one lucky attendee, and uh, and also a copy of the latest one for me. So I'm um, planning to do a review of this um, on the podcast soon. But uh, isn't that beautiful? It's so gorgeous. It's um, the the books are published in the same size and format as the Pom Pom Quarterly magazine. So it's lovely paper and beautiful. Uh, so thank you to Pom Pom Quarterly for that. Um, I also had a prize donated by Mrs. Brown's Bags, who is uh, Jody, And um, I had um, purchased this bag from Jody uh, from Mrs. Brown's Bags because uh, this is the Danny bag in her um, collection and it's named after Danny of Little Bobbins podcast uh, who was also at the retreat and so um, Danny had shown this bag on her podcast and I just really really loved it and so I went um, and to check out the, the Etsy store and see they've got this just the detail is so gorgeous. These little tassels for the zip pull. Um, so I went to specifically because I love the Danny bag so much because it's like sparkly, you know, you can see the light shining off it. It's just so fun, um, this bag. And uh, I also bought this one <laughs> as well because I just thought I, I really love pink. 
and the unicorns. Gorgeous. So, so, so beautiful. I love these bags. Um, and so Jody really generously sent a bag for a doll prize as well. So thank you so much, Jody. And um, she also sent me some yarn. <laughs> so beautiful. This is yarn ink, which was a new to me indie dyer. I think it must be Canadian. Um, because, uh, yeah, Mrs. Brown's Bags is based in Canada. And uh, Jodie and her sister have recently started a podcast called The Grocery Girls. So you may well have heard of it because it's super popular. Uh, I think they're up to about their 12th episode now. And uh, yeah, just really, really popular because they're so, so fun and um, infectious enthusiasm for yarn, knitting. Um, they're really into knitting socks and shawls um, and toys and all, you know, just really, really fun stuff. And they're just really cute together. <laughs> I just love seeing sisters together because I have two sisters and I miss them, they're in Australia. And so I just really enjoy that sister dynamic between them. So thank you, Jody. Really, um, yeah, I was really touched to get that package because it was a surprise. And uh, yeah, so we had a lucky, lucky winner at the retreat for one of the bags. I didn't take a photo of it um, before the retreat. I was not thinking uh, ahead. <laughs> so, um, so, but uh, you can get a sense of, of how gorgeous the bags are. From those two that I just showed you. So uh, that was the sponsor and then our, our main sponsor of the retreat was the Fibre Company. Um, I talk about the Fibre Company yarn quite a bit on my audio podcast. Absolutely love the Fibre Company yarn and Daphne who's the founder of the company very very generously uh, sponsored the retreat she gave us a, <laughs> she gave all the attendees two skeins of, <laughs> two skeins of Cumbria fingering yarn. And I am blanking out on what colorway this is. It might come back to me. Can't remember. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I think it's Castle Rig, Castle Rig colorway. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a really beautiful heathery purple color. Look, it's, it'll be a nice shawl. <laughs> so I, um, yeah, I designed a pattern for the retreat um, for this yarn, which is the Hilltop Shawl. And uh, I gave a copy to all the attendees and to go with the yarn that they receive uh, from the fiber company. And so we've been having a, a knit along and the prize for the knit along is uh, a gift bag from the retreat. So the knit along is finished. I was meaning to do this a couple of weeks ago so that you would uh, all jump in and want to participate in the knit along once you saw the prize, but uh, never mind. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, so the prize is um, two skeins of the Scarfell Pike colorway, which is the natural colorway. And this is the colorway that I did the sample of the shawl in. I didn't bring the shawl down. I should have brought it down. Um, I've kind of put away a lot of my woolens <laughs> for the summer now. Um, but anyway, if you have a look, for the hilltop shawl on Ravelry, you'll you'll see what the design is. Um, also in the gift bag, we have a gorgeous uh, leather bracelet, which says Cumbria on it. Uh, these were made by Stuart from Leatherwool Lennon. Uh, she really generously gave everybody a bracelet for the goodie bag, and it also contains uh, codes for two patterns, one by Elizabeth. Doherty that I mentioned, and one by Paula Emmons Beasley. 
from the Knitting Pipeline podcast. So I just realized I was showing the code then, but. I'm not very experienced at doing video podcasts. <laughs> Never mind, I'm sure you couldn't read it. Yeah, and then the bag is uh, one that I made with my uh, co-host of the of the retreat, Meta, and she was on the audio podcast. We were having a chat uh, a few couple of months ago, um, talking about uh, the Danish tradition of huga, and because she's originally from Denmark, although she's been in London for a long time now, and so we um, made these project bags together for the attendees as well. This is a uh, fabric from Meta's stash. Meta's fabric stash. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love a blousy bloom. <laughs> oh, I love the prints like this with um, big flowers. So that is the prize. I haven't drawn the winner yet, um, even though the, the knit along has just closed uh, yesterday. Uh, but I will be doing that and announcing it on the audio podcast next week. Uh, yeah, so that's some, some lovely things from the retreat. We also had a little vendor market. I think that's all the sponsorship announcements I need to make. Always forget something and then kick myself later. <laughs> I think that's okay. So, um, yeah, so we had a vendor market and uh, several of the attendees have Etsy shops or shops on their website. And so we, one afternoon, had a little shop, an opportunity to buy some of their beautiful um, products. So one of the um, vendors was the Wool Barn. And so I bought these two skeins of um, Maya's gorgeous yarn. She does the most beautiful, delicate speckles. Just love that. I was really tempted by the pink. There was a pink one similar, sort of like this, but in a pink color way. But I, I don't know, I, I can't go past blue. I, I'm a real blue girl, so even though I love pink as well. I love them all. Um, and I bought this pink, which is old romance. Super gorgeous. This is a smooth sock. So it's 75% uh, Merino 25% nylon. So make some beautiful socks. This one is luxury sock and that's 80% superwash super wash merino, 10% cashmere and 10% nylon. Um, so it's really soft as well. They're both really soft, but this is probably going to be a bit softer. Um, with the cashmere in it, gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. Um, I bought some bags. <laughs> I didn't really get into having project bags for years until about maybe last year. I used to carry my projects around in really tatty plastic bags. Not cool. Um, but now I've got into them in a big way. So, uh, Danny from Little Bobbins, as I mentioned before, was uh, at the retreat and brought some of her gorgeous, gorgeous bags. She does these really cute applique bags. Um, Littlebobbins.co.uk. You can find her. Got that little egg on the back and her little label. So sweet! This is just like a little notions pouch. Um, so cute. And then a bigger one, which is socks on a washing line. So it's super cute as well. A little heart. Just love her details. It's got a little tag there. And then the lining inside is uh, just plain lining inside this one. So they're very, um, very chic, kind of a little bit vintage, just really beautiful. 
So I've been kind of keeping them aside um, and not using them yet before I before I recorded this because I just wanted to keep everything together. But uh, now I'm going to be able to start using them. And I also um, bought uh, two bags from Mina Makes, who is uh, also known as Mina from the Knitting Expat podcast. And she has a very vibrant um, personality and style for her bags. So really, really fun. I really liked these cute little foxes and a nice, a nice big handle. Carry it around. And um, I didn't have many larger bags. So when I saw this one, reminds me, I don't, I don't think it is. Italy but it just reminds me of like a, it, the Italian coastline for some reason I think it's the just the style of it so a fabulous lovely big big bag by Mina the random wool <laughs> it's a occupational hazard yeah so I think I have I have a few other things from the market, but I think they've uh, worked their way into my everyday life now, and I don't have them to. I haven't kept them together in the in the box of things. Um, Mina also gave us when we purchased one of her bags a little progress keeper, so I chose this little scissors. Really cute. I've got some scissors a bit like this, so I thought it was cute. Um, yeah, so that's a bit of a roundup of, um, some lovely, lovely things from the Curious Handmade Country House Retreat. Uh, so just before I sign off, I thought I would sort of fast forward in time to what I'm working on at the moment. So it's May, it's the beginning of May, and I don't really have many um, garments that I've sewn to participate in Me Made May. I have one tunic, which to be fair, I could wear every day. It's so comfortable to wear. Um, but I thought um, seeing everybody's Me Made May um, makes <laughs> on Instagram and you know the web really is making me want to get into my sewing so this week I uh, got my sewing machine fixed which is something else I've been meaning to do for a very long time I got my sewing machine fixed and um, I have some lovely fabric that I bought in Paris. Oh. I've just washed it. Um, I just washed it to, I don't know if you really need to wash it, you know, in case it shrinks a bit, but I thought, well, rather than take the risk. So I just washed it and it's just a little, a nice little print, pale blue, nice and summery. And I'm planning to make the West water tunic. This is a pattern by um, Sam Lamb that she's designed for Squam. And so um, I'm going to be going to Squam in um, at the beginning of June. And so I really, really want to make this by then. So I think that's, I think I can probably do it in a day or two. Um, so it's pretty doable, she says. Uh, my sewing skills are so rusty though that uh, it might take me a bit longer than I than I think but um, you've got to start somewhere right and uh, so yeah so I'm gonna start with this so that's that and then on the knitting front I'm going to knit a an Angela's Novus Cardi this is a design by Renee Callahan who is East London Knit on Ravelry well, that's her design name East London Knit 
and uh, she came out with the clay collection last year. Uh, we chatted on the podcast, I think it's around October time that Renee came on the show. And so, yeah, so I'm going to try and knit a cardigan as well. I think they'll go really nicely together. Um, I've got this yarn in my stash. I was going to use the suggested yarn, which is Blacker Swan. Um, it's a DK weight yarn, a, a sort of heavy DK weight yarn. Um, but I started thinking about my stash and, and I thought, actually, if I, um, I can use some yarn from my stash, that would be really good. And I remembered that I had quite a bit of the gorgeous, gorgeous Holland Sons yarn. And so it just seems crazy not to use it for such a, a beautiful project. I think there will just be uh, a match made in heaven. So yeah, so I've done my swatches. Uh, I started off with the recommended needles, which is 55 millimeter, uh, but it was coming out a bit loose. For me so I'll, I'll go down to a five millimeter I'm not sure what that is in US sizes something around an eight maybe um, yeah so I'm excited to start that the knit along starts on Monday the 9th of May and uh, which is in a couple of days um, it might be the 9th of May by the time I get this episode um, published who knows <laughs> Uh, but anyway, it's coming up very, very soon. So do join in that knit along. It's a clay collection knit along that I'm hosting. Uh, you can find all the details on the Curious Handmade Ravelry group. Um, yeah, Renee is offering a 20% discount off her patterns. So if you use the code um, East London Knit Cal, K A L, uh, when you check out on Ravelry, uh, make sure you put in the code and uh, for any of Renee's um, patterns on Ravelry. And Blacker are also supporting the Knit Along and giving people a 10% um, coupon code off any of their DK weight yarn. And that is with the code ClayCal which is K-L-E-E-K-A-L. -E so, uh, yeah, so you can uh, get, a, get a bit of a discount on both the pattern and the yarn, which is really great. So thank you to those uh, supporters of the, of the Knit Along. And, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be really fun. Um, loads of people are joining in. Quite a few people are choosing the Angelus Novus Cardi to make. Uh, which is just such a, a gorgeous design. Um, but you can uh, join in knitting any of Renee's um, any of Renee's patterns. And also I sort of decided on Friday that people can also join in with uh, works in progress as well. Um, so really the the start date of the 9th of of May was for me to get myself organized. Um, but if you have a work in progress, uh, do join in, use it as an opportunity to finish something. Um, and yeah, it'll be fun. So that's, that's all from me today. Uh, I think, I think that's all I needed to tell you. Uh, so just a, I don't know, relatively short episode. Um, probably be enough for me to try to manage uploading and editing and all that jazz, whatever, whatever you need to do for a video podcast, I'm about to find out. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that and uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, do, do the little thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and uh, if I get some good feedback, I'll do it again. Uh, otherwise, happy knitting. Thanks for joining me and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.